Hello everyone, it's Jazz and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to play with some alcohol inks and some UFO paper and a new company called The Ink Road. They've got some really pretty stamps and dies and we are going to jump in with some alcohol ink on the UFO. Now UFO, if you're not familiar with it, it's not actually paper, it's actually plastic. Um, but it's super thin, so it's easy to die cut with. Um, and the alcohol inks blend really nicely into it. But other kinds of inks can take a while to dry on it. So I've got various shades of pink alcohol inks. I've got the rose gold mixative and shell pink um, and a couple other ones. I'll have the specific colors listed in the description box below if you're interested in getting those. I wanted to keep this really light and fresh, kind of ethereal. So you're going to set that aside to dry. It's got alcohol in it, so it will dry pretty quickly. So here's the Ink Road stamp set and die set that I used. I didn't use the Hello Gorgeous stamp on this, just the dies. And I am going to use the flower image from the stamp set. And we're going to use some Delicata um, Rose Gold Pigment Ink. Now, like I said, this is a plastic paper. Um, it's not actual wood fiber paper. So that means this pigment ink is going to take a while to dry on top. I left it overnight um, just to make sure it was going to dry, and it did take quite a while. So just kind of bear that in mind. Um, the other thing to keep in mind with UPO is that because it's plastic, you cannot heat emboss on it. It will melt it, it will warp it, um, and it will ruin it. So I learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, so I've got this in my MISTI, and I'm just going to use that flower image and stamp three different times. And if you struggle with things like this, kind of how to or where to place um, images, use odd numbers. So it kind of, your brain wants to match things up when it looks at an image. So if you're using odd numbers, you alleviate that and it just looks nicer. So if you're using three, five, seven, things like that um, as a design element, it kind of helps your brain to look around the image versus trying to match things up. So here I've got um, two of each die cut, so the Hello and Gorgeous are two separate dies, two of each, and I've got, just got some cream cardstock, and I'm going to layer those on top of one another. So we're going to make um, an Eclipse card, and using just some glue to adhere those together. And I'm only using two because I don't want this to have a lot of height to it just enough to make it pop off the card front a little bit. So once those are glued together, we're going to adhere the Hello Gorgeous die cut from the alcohol ink panel that we made. And I put this um, on some, the sticky saran wrap, I'm not sure, the name is escaping me. Um, but I like it because it will hold all those tiny little chads that are in the middle of the die cut words, and you're going to need those later on to put back into the panel, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So those aren't too thick, just a little bit to get a little bit of dimension. So here I have my outcalling panel adhered down to a um, cream color cardstock, so the same color as the the cardstock I die cut the background from. The background, the die cuts. <laughs> and basically we're going to fit this back in like a puzzle piece or another technique you may have heard of is um, inlaid die cut. Same thing. So just going to fit it right back in there. And it fits in really easy, just like a puzzle. And then to make this look seamless, um, we're going to fill back in all those little pieces that are die cut from the words. So sorry I'm a little bit off frame there, but I'll, I'll come back in in a second. So these are pretty simple to figure out where to put them back in. And then I'm just using a pair of tweezers to kind of dip the piece in glue and then stick it where it belongs. 
and then so I've kind of left some of that footage out just so I'm not boring you. I just want to show you kind of how to do it. It's not rocket science. You can do this, I promise. So here we have everything kind of fit back in. You can see how it looks seamless now, but you can still see that sentiment. And so to finish off, I'm going to use some Little Things Flowers by Lucy's Cards. Um, the white ones are called Jasmine, and the pink ones are called Peony. I love these. These are so pretty. And again, I'm using that odd number. So I've got two of the white and three of the pink to make five. And that will finish off our card. Super simple, super easy. Um, this would make a great thing to mass produce if you want to make them for like gift card sets for someone. That would be a really um, fun idea. And thank you for joining me today. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, comment, let me know what you think, share the video if you like it, all that good stuff, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.